Hello everyone. I'm here today and I'm so excited to be here to talk a little bit about our newest product and our first piano, the Walker 1955 Steinway D. And um, so the basic idea for today, first I want to talk about the instrument briefly and how it works and um, how we put it together and give you some bullet points. Then I want to go through the controls pretty quickly just so that everyone can see what is offered here. And finally, I want to get a little deeper and talk about how you could sculpt the sound within the instrument. And I'll go through each mic position and talk about each mic so that you could see the variety of sounds that you can get. And then finally, if we have some time, I'm going to um, revisit my, <laughs> my old piano chops. I haven't played piano very much um, since I graduated from college a bunch of years ago, uh, too many years ago. But I, I, I'd like to show how you can really mimic lots of different sounds to show off the flexibility of the instrument and to give you an idea of what different sounds you could achieve. I spent some time um, going through some popular piano songs and pieces to, to see how close I can get and um, it's pretty surprising and exciting how close you can get uh, with, with lots of different songs. So first of all, I'd like to discuss the instrument broadly and show you how it's put together. So here's the website and just really quickly, just to go through some of the bullet points, this piano is a Concert Steinway D and uh, that's a nine foot Concert Grand and we captured too many samples. We captured like 100,000 samples um, with all the pedal combinations. So that means we got the sustain pedal and the soft pedal separately and the sustain and soft pedals together. And then we, we sampled no pedals at all. So um, when, you're depress when you're putting the pedal down, the soft pedal or the sustain pedal, you're hearing a whole different set of samples. We spent about two weeks with this amazing instrument in a private, beautiful chamber music hall in North Carolina. Uh, the piano is a special instrument. It is. It has a, a really advanced and proprietary player piano attached to it, or a player mechanism. And so we were able to program all of the articulations and have it perform 12 or 15 hours of recordings at once. So I think we had maybe four terabytes of sounds when we were finished. What else could I say about it? It has 36 velocities per note. So 88 notes times 36 velocities per note times four different pedal combination uh, possibilities. You get the idea, the sample count gets really high. Um, also, we went through the trouble of recording a set of responsive releases. And we think that's pretty special. Um, we recorded releases at the millisecond level. So when you play a really short, you know, let me get this camera up here. So when you play really short, you hear real releases. Let me turn the reverb off so you could hear that. So when you play really short notes, you're hearing that mechanism, that aliveness of the, there's a little bit of the room interacting with it. Uh, and then when you play a little bit longer, you're hearing a more subtle release and you're hearing a different sample. So depending on how hard you play the note and how long you hold it, you get a different release sample every time. And um, we also have a dedicated set of staccato samples. That was really important to me because as a composer, I love staccato samples. And so really quickly, I'll show you what those sound like.
It's really effective too when you combine the staccato and the regular sustains. So those are some of the bullet points. Um, why don't I play through the instrument just a bit so you can get a feel for what it sounds like in general. All right, so I'm gonna play a little bit. This is the default microphone that comes with the instrument. Um, actually, let's see, before I do that, I do wanna talk about uh, some more basics. I didn't even mention that this is a product for contact, contact player, and when you buy the main version, uh, it, the regular version costs $99, and that is the default mic. Um, there's a light version of it as well, which has less articulations in general, and that's $39. And we took a slightly different approach with the mics. Uh, we offer six mic positions, and five of them can be purchased separately, and they're $15 each. All right, I don't want to get too bogged down in, in some of those details. Rather, let's just play a little bit. So this is the default mic. 